back to the party it's your girl brit reacts and today we are reacting to how to tell latinos apart by gabriel iglesias let's see what he has to say okay, i just want to know uh, how many latinos in the crowd tonight now notice i asked latinos i wasn't very specific because if you call a Latino the wrong one, there's an issue. You call a Mexican a Salvadorian, we get mad. You call a Puerto Rican a Dominican, they get mad. You call a Cuban anything but a Cuban, you're going to get stabbed. <laughs> so for everyone here and everyone at home, I have found a way to figure out who's who. It's very easy. All you have to do is listen to the way the person is speaking Spanish. You don't have to understand a single word. Just listen to the flow. That'll let you know. For example, Mexicans, when we speak Spanish, we sound high. Seriously, you ask us a question, we drag it out. Hey, bro, how's it going? <laughs> Cubans, I found out Cubans, you guys speak Spanish, like everything means something, it's very serious. You ask a Cuban a question, bro, where are you going? Al baño, coño, carajo, why you wanna know? <laughs> Just asking, dude. <laughs> it's like, why is he yelling? I don't, I don't know. And I found out Puerto Ricans, you guys speak Spanish, like there's a time limit. You ask a question, hey, bro, what's up? I mean, my bro, the other day, I was talking to him, I was talking to him, I was talking to him, all right, so fun fact, um, my daughter is half Puerto Rican and her grandfather passed away last last July. She was super, super close to him and that whistle in the audience sounded just like him. He used to whistle like that all the time. He used to play the salsero. He was all about his Puerto Rican roots. And so I'm already cracking up because so much of this is so true. Like it's so, so, so true and I love it. I also don't know what I thought um, his ethnic back ethnic background was or his nationality, but he, this is my second video of him that I've seen and he had on a Hawaiian shirt then and a Hawaiian shirt now. So I don't, I guess I just maybe assumed that he was from the, um, the island, but he's not, he's Mexican. So um, this is hilarious, I love this. I love people that can just poke good, honest fun at themselves and people like them. Um, Cause it just means you're a really good person. I don't know, I just think it's, when you can do that, you that means you live very lightheartedly and you're just a joy to be around. All right, let's keep going. I went way down the rabbit hole. <laughs> Even Mexicans were like, hey, write that down. <laughs> Another way is the beverage. The beverage will let you know who you're dealing with. For Facts. example, a Mexican's preferred drink of choice is tequila. Okay? A Puerto Rican's coquito. preferred drink of choice is either donku or coquito. <laughs> right? And a Cuban's preferred drink of choice is coffee. Cafe. Cafe. <laughs> now, let me tell you how I know about this one. So, a few years ago, so. Martina and I were doing a show at the Improv in Miami, and after the show was over, I was talking to Martina, I said, hey, bro, I said, we got to try out some of this Cuban food everybody's been talking about. It's our first time here. And so we go outside to catch a cab, and when we got in the car, uh, I figured something out, and that is that uh, Cubans come in every color of the rainbow. <laughs> Cubans and Puerto Ricans, you go from really, really white all the way to freaking navy black, just <laughs> hardcore. Wesley Snipes, just dark, school on <laughs> El negro! Hardcore, you know what I mean? <laughs> I didn't know that there was such a thing as a black Cuban because we get in the car and we're speaking Spanish and this guy turns around and he's black and he's like, Donde quieren ir? Why you wanna go? <laughs> I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> it freaked me out. I thought the partition was tinted. Please. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> so he's yelling at it. Donde quieren ir? I'm like, dude, uh, <laughs> why is he yelling? <laughs> I said, listen, we, uh, we want to go somewhere to get some authentic Cuban food. Where can we go? And then he takes us to this place called Calle Ocho, which for everyone at home, Eighth Calle Ocho Street. is a Spanish. Also, fun fact, I am doing Duolingo. I'm like deep, deep in it. And I can like hold a teeny, 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 small, tiny, 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 small conversation. So I knew, I knew what that meant. <laughs> it's for 8th Street, and it's an area where, you know, it's very authentic. And um, he takes us to this restaurant called La Carreta. Okay? 
So uh, you can't miss it. There's a restaurant on the corner with a giant wagon wheel in front of it and a huge rooster. I don't know what the rooster does, but look out for him. <laughs> We walk inside, and I think, what was it, Martin, like 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning when we went in? Easy 3 in the morning. Easy 3 o'clock in the morning. We sit down at this table, and we're looking at the menu. We're trying to figure it out, and there's all kinds of bananas and all kinds of weird stuff. That I'm like, I didn't know that. Sir. Okay, bananas, fine. Okay, let's do this. Um, <laughs> and here comes the waiter, and the waiter's coming over, and he gets in my face, and he's like, Get your And I'm like, I forgot. Why is he yelling? I don't know. <laughs> I said, listen, bro, I'll tell you what, um, let me look at this menu a little bit longer. I think we need some time, right? Yeah, we were like, yeah, we need some more time. And I says, uh, for right now, can I just get a coffee? And he's like, oh, okay, un cafecito. <laughs> and he walks into the kitchen. He comes back five minutes later, seriously, with a little coaster and a shot glass of coffee on the coaster. And he puts it down in front of me and he's like, okay. And I'm like, <laughs> what is this? Es eh, un cafecito. I go, dude, look at me. I'm not a Ito. I'm a Ande. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny and then i started thinking maybe he knows who i am i get the joke bring the really big guy the really little cup you know what i mean and i said bro what is it i go no 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 I'll bring me a full-size cup of coffee take this back and i was frustrated so the guy's like okay and what you want okay so he grabs it all pissed off and then he goes in the kitchen and he starts talking trash to one of the cooks he's like no no i don't want to look at it and then he comes back with a bowl of cuban coffee okay not a bowl and he puts it down in front of me and he won't leave the table he's like okay and i'm like okay okay <laughs> Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, I get it. He wants me to make sure this is what I want, you know, what I want, right? So I pick up the bowl and I take a little sip of it. And when the coffee hit my tongue, I was like, oh my God, this is the most concentrated coffee I've ever had. It was really, really strong. And then it clicked. That's why they bring you a little shot glass of this stuff. So now I don't want to look stupid making him take a bowl of coffee back in the kitchen. So I picked it up to my face again and I drank the whole thing. Oh no. oh no well done i knew i messed up bro i <laughs> knew i messed up because a waiter looked at me and he's like Vaya con Dios. <laughs> he goes back in the kitchen he's like Manolo, call 911. <laughs> 10 minutes go by you guys i am so wired that coffee is strong that is the only way in the world cubans can make that swim <laughs> That was really funny. Like, really funny. Like, I thoroughly enjoyed that. That was hilarious. Um, just all the bits. Again, like, super truthful, super funny. A way to poke fun at yourself and your community. Um, I love the coffee story. Have, if, if, drop in the comments, have you ever had Cuban coffee? Because if you have, first of all, is it truly is the most delicious thing i had some recently um at a job that i did they had it um on set and they only had little cups and i poured it and it wasn't even that fresh but it was so good like you don't need to add milk you don't need to add sugar it needs nothing it's so delicious anyway drop in the comments if you had cuban coffee before and if not you should go try some all right go have the day you deserve peace